I can't buy my Iron Man mask, which I was planning on wearing for the opening, so... Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. We have gotten the confirmation about what movies and shows will be in MCU Phase 5 and what movies, but we don't have the shows yet, will be in MCU Phase 6. And some of them are announced. I could probably tell you where to go, go in the phases. I'm not talking about like the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special or the... And what's it called? What the freak is it called? The Werewolf by Night show. They're probably in Phase 4. Even though they said Black Panther's going in it, there's some holiday specials that's coming that will technically end Phase 4. So let's talk about Phase 5 and Phase 6. Actually, no. I'll just talk about what they announced at Comic-Con. We'll just go from there. Dang, this intro is already a minute long. Let's just get on to it. Go everything. Before we go through everything here, guys, Marvel did announce that, like I said, probably in the intro, if I didn't, here it is. Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which I did a reaction to the trailer, will be the final movie in Phase 4. That's right. Marvel Phase 4 is probably one of the shortest phases, because it only ends, it only had been around for, it only lasts for two years. 2021 and 2022. It would have been different had Corona not happened. It would have lasted probably from 2020 to 2021. And then 2022 would have been phase 5. Or maybe some of these would have been in phase 6. Anyway. So here is the official slate. I'm going to take my face cam off and I'm going to read every title. And then tell you what I think about them being announced. So phase five, hold on a minute. Phase five, phase five of the MCU will begin and on February. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my down off so our notifications will stop popping because I don't like when that happens in videos. So phase five will be starting February 17, 2023, with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantum Manium, which they did announce show they did show a official poster and people said there is footage that they did show at Comic Con. They're probably gonna release that footage very soon for this and something else which I'll get to in a little bit. Because people are leaking the crap out of these footage despite them not being able to. I think they signed a what's it called? One of those things that like Andrew Garfield signed when he was like, I'm not the werewolf, I'm not the werewolf, I'm not in Spider-Man No Way Home. I think it's called Indu, Indu I or something. He signed one, they probably signed one of those, and yet they still show footage from one, from them. Anyway, so Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium comes February 17, 2023, and then in spring of 2023, I'm going in order of how they're going to, how the phase will go and then end. Will be Secret Invasion. Okay, and then. So there's the nice logo. Wait, I didn't tell. My thoughts on Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. The first two Ant-Mans were good. So this one should be. But as a phase four has been disappointing people. So I hope that. Especially some of the new sequels. Like, no Way Home is probably out of all the sequels that came out this year. The best sequel that came out. I mean, out of Phase 4. It's the best sequel that came out recently. Unless you include Falcon and Winter Soldier and WandaVision and all that as sequels. Which they're not. They're separate shows. But yeah, I'm hoping that Phase 5 is good and that that film is worth Waiting till February 17, 2023. Secret Invasion. The show looked interesting by the little teaser they showed with Samuel Jackson, Nick Fury, and the scroll people from Captain Marvel. So we'll see how this show ends up. And then on May 5th, 2023, which I admit I'm probably one of the few that is not a that is actually starting to grow on the logo, despite it only being announced yesterday. A lot of people like, 
that is not a good looking logo. Actually, I'm not growing on it. I actually like the logo when they announced it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So yes, it's not, so no, it's not Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3. Like how the second one looked like I said, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 2. This one ain't Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3. It actually says, it actually spells out volume. Anyway. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy film, so. The third one should be worth every penny. And if it's not, James Gunn, what the freak are you doing? You made a two great Guardians films and a great Suicide Squad movie, and then you make this garbage? And then in summer 2023, we have Echo. Marvel Studios Echo. I don't know much about it. I think it's like a character from the Daredevil show, which I admit something, and y'all are gonna probably hate me in the comments down below for saying this. I have actually not seen the Netflix Daredevil series. I know who plays as Daredevil in it. That's why when I see No Way Home, I'm like, oh my god, it's the guy from the Netflix series. But I have not actually seen the Daredevil Netflix show. But that's a character that is supposed to, I heard, that appeared in the Netflix show. And then, in summer 2023, Loki Season 2. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. In summer 2023, we will have, like I said, Loki Season 2. Which, I've seen a lot of episodes from it, not the... A good chunk of it, not the full series. And why scene? I'm hoping this season to as good as that one. And then on July 28th, 2023, the Marvels, aka Captain Marvel 2. Dang, this video is going longer than I thought it would. I'm talking too much. But yeah, I'm actually one of the few people who actually did like Captain Marvel. So, Captain Marvel 2, oh, not, it's not called Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels, which will have Monica Rambeau from the WandaVision show, and it will have Miss Marvel in it, and of course, Captain Marvel. You can tell it's Captain Marvel because of the S in Marvels, is Captain Marvel's logo. So, yeah, I'll give it a watch. It might not be as good as Captain Marvel, but we'll see. And then on November 3rd, 2023, out of all, a lot of people's like, you probably aren't hyped for like Marvels and stuff on all the films. No. The most hyped film I want to see, well, the biggest, the film I want to see the most in Phase 5 of the MCU is actually Blade. Which comes out November 3rd, 2023. There's the official logo. It's starting, what's that guy's name? What's well, starting a... I guess pretty new actor. I forgot his name though. It's not Muhammad Abdul who plays in Candyman. And also in the new Matrix. It's I forgot the guy's name. But the guy who's playing as Blade, I think he will probably do a good job. And then in fall 2023, we are getting Ironheart. Which a lot of people say they don't want to watch Ironheart because the comics were bad. But here's the thing. There's this show out called The Boys Now and also Invincible. And both of those shows had terrible comics. And the, both shows have became some of the biggest Amazon Prime shows of all time. So who knows? Ironheart could have a terrible comic and have a great show. And then... In winter 2023 to 2024, we get the WandaVision spinoff slash prequel, Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Which, I never done a review on the rest of them, but I did actually watch all of WandaVision. And Agatha was probably the best part of the show. It's been Agatha all along. So she's getting her own show. 
And then, in spring 2024, this is the announcement everyone's probably happy for, including me. Like I said, I haven't seen the Netflix show, but I'm probably going to be watching the Netflix Daredevil very soon since they announced this. Daredevil Born Again. It don't even say, a lot of people say it could be a series, but it don't say, a lot of these don't say series. They probably are, some of them are series, but it don't say it's a series, so it could actually end up being, yeah, I think they said it was a series when they announced it separate. Daredevil Born Again, I like what I've seen of Charlie Cox from the clips of the Daredevil show, and I like him in No Way Home, so I'm hoping that's good. By then, I probably would have seen the Netflix series. And then, on May 3rd, 2024, Captain America, the new, Captain America, New World Order. For life. What? In New World Order. N-W-O. Captain, Mar Captain America is fighting Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Hulk Hogan. Captain America, New World Order, for life. And then on July 26, 2024, we get Thunderbolt, which is going to have, um, what's his name, the, the villain from, from Black Widow will be in it, and a few others. And that will include, conclude Phase 4. Now let's talk about Phase 5, because... I'm more hyped for Phase 5 than Phase 4. I, sh I still need to see that movie. But anyway, I'm using Marvel Studios Twitter account for this part of the video, so here we go. And then in Marvel Studios Phase 6, the MCU's Phase 6, on November 8th, 2024, we get Marvel Studios 4. Which a lot of people did not know what the four stands for. And they're like, where's Fantastic Four news? Um, really? This is Fantastic Four. I think the Fantastic Four. One reason I'm not kind of mad that they they pushed it, they put it in 2024 is I think it was meant for Phase Three, I mean Phase Five, and to come out in 2023. But then John Watts, who directed the Spider-Man trilogy. The new Spider-Man trilogy, Spider-Man Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home, wanted to stop making superhero movies for a while, so they couldn't find the director so or something, so they they delayed it to 2024, which it was probably come, originally going to come out in 2023, and now it's coming out in 2024. But oh well, Fantastic Four has an official release date. Of November 8th, 2024. But that's not the big thing about Phase 6. It is big, but it's not that big. Why does everybody want John Wazinski? I only seen him in the clips of Doctor Strange and in A Quiet Place. I don't know what's so big about that guy. Here's the big one. Marvel Studios Avengers The Kang Dynasty in theaters May 2nd, 2025. Na 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 Yeah, Avengers 5 is coming out in 2025. Get it? Avengers 5 2025? I mean, not that. Yeah, it is Avengers 5. But that's not all. And that's not all for the Avengers. But on November 7th, 2025, we will have... Avengers Secret Wars, which will have mo all the multiverse characters. It'll have Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man are rumored to show up in it. They're multiverse characters. Probably Fantastic Four will somehow, like John Wojcicki's Mr. Fantastic from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will somehow get resurrected for this. All the multiverse characters, and they even announced what this whole Phase Four, Phase, what Phase Four, Phase Five, and Phase Six is called, the Multiverse Saga. 
But I'm also going to talk about some other stuff that's not on the list, but they aren't part of the, those phases. Starting with Marvel Studios' I Am Groot, which comes out only in a few months, in a few weeks. August 10, 2022, I Am Groot. Now, a lot of people are like, eh, it's uh, short, but I want to bring them up because they're still counted as Phase 4 and stuff. Even if they are coming, even if they are shorts and animated, they're still, I'm counting them as part of Phase 4. So Want to bring them up in an earlier video. Later video, I mean. And then, Spider-Man Freshman Year. Which is coming out. Which starts streaming in 2024. I think they also showed on here. Hold on. I do know that also, they did announce a season 2 called Sophomore Year. And then... In early 2023, we will have What If Season 2. And also, in fall 2023, a lot of 90s kids are going to be happy. We are getting X-Men 97, which is the original X-Men series returning. They ended in 97, that's why it's called 97. Also, it don't have a exact release date. It's probably holiday 2022. So technically this ends Phase 4, but it's not exactly counted as ending Phase 4. But probably this Christmas, we will have Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Poor Armor Wars, I think you got cancelled. But also, I think... I know I'm covering kind of Phase 5, Phase 4 stuff also, but... I just want to bring this up. Sometime I think this year, or maybe it's canceled. We were supposed, or are supposed to get a Werewolf by Night ho holiday special, like a Halloween special for the Werewolf by Night show that's supposed to, that's rumored to come out in the future. See, an uh, untitled Halloween special, which is rumored to be the moon, the Werewolf by Night series. And that's probably all I'm going to cover. I mainly wanted to cover stuff from Phase 5 and Phase 6 and I got out of hand. But I probably... I deci decided originally I wasn't going to do any stuff on Spider-Man Freshman Year. But I probably will do a Spider-Man Freshman Year video. Covering all the photos they showed. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, leave a big, fat, juicy like, the biggest, fattest, juiciest like you could ever leave on my videos, and subscribe for more dailyish videos, if you're new. And also, probably Tuesday, I will be doing the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness Blu-ray unboxing. That will be my next MCU-related video after the Spider-Man Freshman Year one. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't tell my thoughts on the Avengers films coming in 2025. I am hyped for Secret Wars. The King one I'm hyped for, but Secret Wars, that's the biggest one I'm hyped for. Glad it's happened. Okay, peace.